the metabotrophic glutamate receptor subtype 5, also known as MGLUR5, is a class C GPCR. It has seven transmembrane helices which contain binding sites for various allosteric modulators that can potentiate or reduce the receptor's response to the excitatory neurotransmitter glutamate. The receptor also has a large extracellular N-terminus domain which consists of the venous flytrap domain, VFT, and the cysteine-rich domain, CRD. The VFT has two lobes that close around the glutamate upon binding, stabilizing the compact VFT conformation. The closure of one VFT lobe is sufficient for receptor activation. However, the closure of both lobes is required for maximal activity. The CRD and extracellular loop tube transmit the conformational changes induced upon glutamate binding to the seven transmembrane domain, which is connected to an intracellular C-terminus domain. These structural changes lead to the formation of a TM6-TM6 interface within the dimer which is essential for the activation of MGLUR5 because it facilitates G-protein signaling. MGLUR5 is found as a disulfide link dimer on the plasma, nuclear, and ER membrane. MGLUR5 is primarily expressed in the CNS, including but not limited to the olfactory bulb, amygdala, and hippocampus. Binding of glutamate to the VFT disrupts the stabilizing force between arginine 144 and glutamate 111 at the VFT dimer interface. This releases mGluR5 from its inactive state in order to close the VFT lobes. It also triggers a global compaction of the receptor that brings the dimer subunits closer and causes the intracellular domain to adopt a high affinity conformation for G protein binding. Upon glutamate binding, mGluR5 dimerizes and preferentially binds G protein Q11, causing a conformational change which leads to the exchange of GDP for GTP in the alpha subunit of the G protein. The GTP bound alpha subunit disassociates from the beta gamma subunit and diffuses across the plasma membrane to activate phospholipase C. Phospholipase C in turn hydrolyzes PIP2 a membrane-bound phospholipid to form IP3 and DAG. IP3 diffuses across the cytoplasm to bind the IP3 receptor on the ER and cause an influx of calcium from the ER into the cytosol. DAG remains membrane-bound and in combination with calcium binds to and activates protein kinase C. PKC then activates MAPK via phosphorylation MAPK translocates the nucleus and activates the transcription factor CREB, which transcribes several genes related to synaptic plasticity. Scaffolding proteins such as Homer and Shank tightly regulate both the localization and signaling of mGluR5. mGluR5 signaling regulates synaptic plasticity, memory, and learning, and is also critical for synaptogenesis and the patterning of neural circuits. Thus, this regulation of mGluR5 is associated with several synaptic disorders. Overactivation of mGluR5 has been linked to autism and ADHD. An appropriate therapeutic approach to deal with these diseases is the development of competitive and non-competitive mGluR5 antagonists. Competitive inhibitors bind to the orthosteric binding site, thus blocking glutamate from binding to the active site. However, Previous studies have shown that the orthosteric binding site shares similarity among different populations of the metabotropic glutamate receptor, suggesting that competitive inhibitors have low selectivity for mGluR5. Non-competitive inhibitors bind to the allosteric site located on seven TM domains to reduce glutamate's effects. Because allosteric sites show less conservation across subtypes, non-competitive inhibitors will show better selectivity. Given this structural feature, we can propose that a non-competitive drug targeting these allosteric binding sites will have better selectivity. mGluR5 also has a unique deep subpocket near its allosteric site. This pocket is unique because it has a very narrow entrance in all other mGlu subtypes, but is accessible only in mGluR5 because of the smaller side chains of glycine, proline, and allylene located in mGluR5. Thus, drugs that can target this pocket will be highly selective for mGluR5. These are our references, and thank you so much for watching.